Start My Mac channel, welcome. This video is a answer to a comment on one of my previous videos from Mr. Brian Monroe. He was asking a good question. He was querying uh, why I make a collet the way I do, because uh, what he was talking about is a four corner collet I was making, yeah? So I've got my strip of metal. I cut and groove out the inside, little 90 degree grooves so they can fold up nice corners. Um, so I do that four times, and then he asked, why don't I have my join on a corner? Because we're doing all this work on the inside, and then the outside is going to be phrased away for a claw to go on. Surely it makes sense to have, a, have your join on a corner, rather than in between the corners, which is what I do. Um, so it's not immediately obvious why I would put the join down the middle in between them, but I've got two strips of metal here ready to go. Um, I'm going to show you exactly uh, why I do it, and I'm going to prove why it's a good idea to do it the way I do it. But before we get into it, I'm going to say thank you to a few new patrons I've got. I've got Emily Diaz, Alisa Maximchuk, uh, Stuart C, Gregory Coleman. Thank you very much, guys. So if you want to become a patron yourself, that'll be awesome. Links in the description and all that. Click on that and you can find out about all the benefits of becoming a patron yourself. And uh, cool, let's get into it. Okay, so I hope that was making sense the way I was describing it in the intro. The way Mr. Munro was suggesting is I make a collet like this. So... When that's folded up and all joined up together, the corner will be the solder join. The way I do it, well, I don't make them flat like this, but just for demonstration purposes, I did it like this. Uh, the way I do it, the join will be in between two, so that's going to be finished, It'll sort of be cut off there or something. And then that'll be a finished collet. There's a join down the middle, and um, what I'm going to do is make these side by side, file them up, get them reasonably finished, and then I'll, um, then I'll show you what the differences are. They look like that because I fluxed them, then annealed them. So when they're folded up, they're ready to solder. That's why they look like the way they do. So I'm not really making a piece of jewelry, just demonstrating a technique. So I'm not gonna to worry too much about neatness. Just get this folded up. Okay, cool. Okay, next. In the last corner. So I didn't solder up all the corners, I just soldered the join. Um, don't really need to do it all properly. So this is the one, my style, I've got the join down the middle, look, in between the corners. I'll just give this a, a bit of file, I don't know what file to use. rip into this quickly. All right, I'm working really quickly here, guys, so not my usual accuracy, but look, can you see, I filed all four sides the same. Can you see all corners have got the same rounded, sort of untouched part on it? That's gonna be cylinder phrased away for a round claw or this is really thick metal, so I could even put a flat on it um, for a, like an emerald cut style gemstone. So that's a good base for progress. Okay, so taking the next one now, this one's joined at the corner. Um, let's do the same on this one. Just rip around the outside, file it up, get it ready to go. Okay, so have a look at this. We got untouched, slightly rounded, untouched, slightly rounded, untouched, slightly rounded, sharp. So the corners no longer match. Okay, so does that matter? Just file them down to match. Okay, let's file them down to match, see what happens. Remember this collet would have been made a specific size for a stone and a specific thickness for certain claws to go on of a certain design at a certain angle. So let's just get all four corners nice and sharp. It's not a problem, is it? It's a lot of work, taking a lot of metal away to get these corners sharp.
still going. This is a lot of work. Still a bit of a flat on this one. Okay, I mean, that was still a bit of a flat, but I'm gonna leave it at this stage. Okay, so this is the back of it. Uh, that corner there is the one where the join was. Uh, that one, that one, that one were all rounded. So the only way to get the corners all matching again, to get them all sharp, is to reduce the outside. And you end up just taking away so much metal just to get rid of a tiny little rounded bit. You scale the whole thing down and you may have made it a specific size and specific angles for a stone. If you've then got to file away half the metal, you kind of ruin in the, the dimensions of it. Because the smaller that gets, the more steep angle your claws are gonna to have to go out. And then it might not work for the stone anymore, the height you had it. Um, there's a bit of mass going on. You can't just, if you made it and then had to make a massive adjustment, like file the outsides loads, uh, you kind of ruin in all your previous work. So just to explain clearly, it might be more clear on here. This is the way I make a collet. So I've got my splits down there. That's where I cut and filed. It doesn't go right to the end. That's why they look kind of rounded. Uh, so you want it to stay in one long strip of metal. There's my join, but the corners are kind of rounded. But they're rounded the same on all four. So when I'm phrasing into it, putting a claw, it's just kind of ready to go. It's already a little flat there. Uh, that's my preferred way to make a collet. And then the join there, as long as you get it nice and tight and you fold it up carefully so it's sitting perfectly straight as it's a nice tight join. Um, if you're making a ring, your shank will sit there anyway, so that's hidden, like your shoulder will go over the top of it. So polishing the stuff, you ain't got to worry about a line showing up, it's all hidden under the shoulder. Uh, just draw, draw it the other way, see what comes to mind. It's a little four square. So the way I did mine, I had it in one strip, exactly the right length, and then joined like that at the corner. So I ended up with one sharp one, and then three rounded ones. So they don't match. And then if you filed that one off that way, and that one off that way, you then, got that wall and that wall is then thinner. So you're filing that one down you end up with a smaller collet and you might think well just make a collet too big so knowing you're gonna to have to file it down again but then you'll work in in a way giving yourself more work at the next step or you're kind of guessing as well what you need um just making it the way i used to you just kind of know what you're doing and you end up with what you want um i don't recommend that but also you could join it up like the way i did that corner it's probably preferable to doing like this. If you fold it up and put it there, um, definitely would not recommend that because then you've got your four corners and then you've got a solder join there and then a claw there. So don't do it like that. You kind of got it, got to do it on the on a 45 degree corner like that. Okay, so that's just my explanation for the way I do it. Uh, do what you want. I'm not too strict on telling people they've got to do it my way. Do what you want. Try it, try it always and find what's best for you. But this is the way I've settled on is uh, tried and tested, passed down to me from the people I work for in London. And I mentioned before a long time ago, they worked for like uh, sort, of, sort of manufacturing. They were model makers. They, they'd make the master. So it has to be the really, really perfect version, which will be cast for other jewelers, or they would also specialize in doing bespoke pieces that other jewelers couldn't do, like proper high-end pieces. So. They were really experienced and surrounded by other jewelers that were really, really uh, experienced as well. Um, so they had good training and they passed on to me. So um, I, I do agree with things I was taught. Uh, the way I recommend it is the least work and you're working in a, a good way. You're on the correct path to just get what you want with a minimum amount of work. Um, other ways, like you could do it, join it up on the corner and uh, you could just file that little round on there again, I suppose, and then work from that. So you've matched the corners sort of blunt like the others. But that's an extra little job that I'm not doing when I do it my way. Um, 
I don't know, do what you want. <laughs> it works for me and uh, it makes sense to me. And uh, I, I do the things the way I do and I recommend them. There's usually a good reason. And uh, I have a sort of certain level of, not arrogance, confidence with it. Just the fact that the people who I learned from were very good and they believed in it as well. And then they learned from people who were very, very good as well. <laughs> There's like a sort of history of these tri techniques being tried and tested over decades, um, making very expensive pieces. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm comfortable with sticking the way, sticking to the way I do it, and I recommend other people do it that way as well. But at the same time, do what you want. <laughs>